Tonight at 8 o'clock, all three major networks will simultaneously air Stand Up to Cancer. It's a live, star-studded fundraiser aimed at fighting a terrible disease. And to coincide with it, Dr. Jay Adlersberg takes a closer look at treating the deadliest type of breast cancer. Jay? Shade Diana, deadliest because it's aggressive and it spreads quickly to other parts of the body. Worse yet, it has none of the three markers that makes breast cancer susceptible to the strongest cancer-killing drug. Now, some doctors in New Jersey are opening a new frontier for women with this disease. Marlene Hardy on the left and Rosalind Billy Pridmore are two pioneers in the treatment of breast cancer. Pioneers because they're in a study to treat one of the least curable types of the disease. There really wasn't too much that was uh, available, you know, it's standard treatments, but once it travels from the breast to other parts of the body. They both have what's called triple negative cancer. It has none of the three targets for the most common breast cancer drugs. But with this new regimen of medications, researchers are trying to wipe out triple negative cancer with treatment geared specifically to it. Therapies that will work well in one kind of breast cancer may not work well in other uh, breast cancers. For this kind, doctors have figured out how it multiplies. They've chosen these three drugs to specifically stop that growth. This one, Avastin, works to strangle the cancer. Avastin is one of the newest cancer-fighting drugs. It blocks the growth of blood vessels that feed the tumor. Triple negative cancers spread quickly, but even early tests in this patient are exciting to the researchers. This isn't really a breast cancer that has spread to her liver. She had far more extensive disease before treatment, and this scan shows significant shrinkage of the tumor. You might ask why a woman would join a study of an unproven treatment. Here's Roger's answer. I have three daughters. I have three granddaughters, and I have a sister. People say, why you? And I say, because I don't want it to be them. Marlene hopes the study results will extend beyond her own outcome. We're looking for generations of children, grandchildren, who can be treated and healed. And you know, to me, it's a blessing. It's a total blessing. Women such as Marlene and Roz, who have triple negative cancers, which have spread to other parts of the body, are eligible for this study, and doctors are looking for more volunteers. If you'd like more information on enrolling, we have a phone number on our website, 7online.com. Shut it, Diane. Okay, okay Jay. Thank